YouTube channel for Hadley and Phil and Fazette. Today we're going to start with a little workout that most of you are familiar with from class to show you how you can do it at home and some variations that you can make to either make it more difficult or a little bit easier. So remember with the seven minute workout, the way we go is 30 seconds on of an exercise and then we have a 10 second transition time in between exercises. So we will start, I've got a timer set on my watch, you can use a timer on your phone, okay, or you can just follow along with the video in order to have your timings correct. So the first exercise is jumping jacks, so I'm going to start my timer and here we go. 30 seconds of jumping jacks, we want to make sure we have nice wide arm and leg movements, okay, really warming up our whole body as we go through. Okay, we don't want any little chicken jacks. Okay, nice big arm movements. Good job. And that's 30 seconds. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is wall sit. So we're gonna find a flat surface. Okay, I've got my wall right here, and then we're gonna go down into a nice wall sit. Okay, ideally we have a nice 90 degree angle at our hips and a 90 degree angle at our knees. Okay, you can put your arms out in front of you if you like. Okay, if you want to raise your arms over your head. Okay, if you want to add a little bit of arm movement to mix it up, you can do that. And good. Next one we're going to do is push-ups. Okay, so with our push-ups, again, if you can do full military push-ups on your toes and on your hands, that's awesome. Okay, if you want to start with those for as many as you can, and then you can drop to your knees, you can do that. Ready, and go. Okay, so ideally with our push-ups, we go down to 90 degrees and back up. As I said, some modifications would be go to your knees. If you do drop to your knees, you want to have a nice straight body position from your shoulders down to your knees. Try not to stick your butt up in the air. Okay, if you want more difficult, you can bring your arms in and do some tricep push-ups. Okay, or if you want to get really difficult, you can try some triangles. Okay, 30 seconds of whatever type of push-up you can do. Good. Okay, next one is crunches. So, again, the type of crunch that you do here is personal preference. So, you can do crunches with your feet on the ground and come up to your knees. You can get your hips and knees at 90 degrees. You can do bicycle crunches, whatever you like. I like bicycle crunches. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so 30 seconds of our core exercise. And again, with any ab exercise, we want to make sure our belly button is pushed into the floor. Okay, so that we're not putting pressure on our back. Okay, you want to make sure you exhale through the exercise as you breathe. Good. The next one is a step up. Okay, so this requires that you have either a stair, so you can go to a staircase, I won't for the video's sake. Um, I've got a cube here that's a little bit higher, and I've got our hearth, okay, that's a little bit lower. So the idea of the step up is that you step up, drive a knee up, step down, and then come back down. So we're gonna do that for 30 seconds, ready? And go. Again, the higher you are, the more resistance. Okay, and the lower you are, the less resistance. Okay, another variation you could do for step ups, okay, is to do quick feet. But 
again, just too easy. Up, drive, down, down. Is good. And that's 30 seconds. Our next exercise is a squat. Okay, so there's a couple little teaching points for squats. Whenever you're squatting, the first movement you want to make is to pop your hips and stick your butt back. Okay, and the idea is that you want to squat down and not have your knees go forward past your toes. Okay, so a nice squat motion for 30 seconds. If you bring your arms out in front of you, okay, that will counterbalance your body weight going backwards, okay, and help you keep from falling over and allow you that full range of motion in your squat. And again, some variations. You could do squats with your arms overhead. You could do jump squats, okay, for a little greater difficulty. And rest. Good. So make sure in that 10 second rest, if you need a water break, okay, have a water bottle with you, have a water bottle ready, and feel free to take a little bit of water at any point. Next exercise is our plank. So you can do forearm plank, or you can do full straight arm plank, whichever you prefer. And go. Okay, so again with our plank, you want to hold that nice tight body position. My kids are waving to me over here. So you can, again, continue to breathe. If you want to be on your forearms, that's fine as well. The key with this is that we want to have a straight, okay, not our bicycle stand position, like I like to tell you. Okay, a nice straight body position as we hold. Good. Next one is a more aerobic exercise. So if you've got a little bit more space, this one's a high knee run. So you can run and actually move, or you can just run in place. Okay, and we're going to go for 30 seconds. Ready, and go. So we're going to get our knees up. Good, making sure we're using our arms in opposition, just like you would be if we were actually running. Okay, get them up nice and high.
high knee run, lunges. We're going to go side plank now. Okay, side plank. So this one, again, you can do it on your forearm or you can do it up on your hand. Okay, the idea is that we're up with our hips off the ground for 30 seconds. Here we go. Okay, variations you can do on this one is if you're having trouble there, you could drop to your knees. Okay, if you want a little bit more of a challenge, you can move your hips down to the ground and back up. And rest. Good. Now we're going to go to the other side. Ready? Three, two, one. Up. Good job. Nice straight body position. Okay, if you want a little change, you can move your arm forward. You can put it straight down to the side. Or again, you can go with the hips up, hips down. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Great. One last exercise here and we're all finished. So the last exercise in our seven minute workout is going to be a push up and a rotation. Okay, so you're going to go down into your push up position. These are sometimes called sunrise push ups. Okay, so you're going to do a push up and then you're going to rotate into a one armed side plank. Ready? And go. between five and ten of these. I'll just give you a side view. In your 30 second time period. Again, if you want to do a knee push up to a side plank, okay, or a tricep push up to a side plank, okay, those will vary the difficulty. And there we have it. Okay, that's our first workout. Now generally if you want to really get a good burn out of this, you can repeat this workout two or three times in a row, okay? Even if you do that three times in a row, you're going to get that all in in less than 25 minutes. You're going to feel great and hopefully have a wonderful start to your day. See you next time.